Hey everyone, this is Zelda from TNZ RV Life, and I am sharing a recipe with you that I made in my cast iron skillet. And I made it with one can of Hunt's tomato paste, and I just want to share that with you. I want to start off and tell you that I bought a skillet, and it was not, it, it was seasoned, but I reached out to a few friends, one being Catfish Redneck, and if you haven't visited his channel, please go by and take a look at his uh, his channel. It's awesome. He, he eats a lot of hot things, but take a look in the background and you will see all of the cast iron that he collects. It is amazing. But I just wanted to share with you what I did with my recipe. And I did not know what I was doing. So please forgive me for those that are cast iron kings and queens. I, I did kind of a no-no in a cast iron skillet. I put something acidic in it. So forgive me on that because I didn't know. But anyway, this is the way my pan was. And I ended up putting it on the stove and heating it up and putting some oil in the pan and then wiping it out. And, and this is what I came up with. I don't have my grill yet to use the oven part of it, or the, the open part for seasoning. Anyway, I put butter and olive oil in a pan, heated it up. I made my meatballs up. And I put those in my pan and I just cooked them very slowly, made sure I didn't turn the eye on very high. And I cooked them down, took them to the side, put my spaghetti noodles on the back burner. And then I took onions, chopped them up, used salt and pepper, no garlic because Tony doesn't like garlic. And I season them up, cook them in my cast iron skillet. And then I poured in my sauce. My sauce actually was diluted tomato paste with salt and pepper and the butter and the olive oil. So after it was all done, this is what it looked like. Here's the final project of my spaghetti and meatballs. And the boys loved them. And so did I. Thanks so much for watching. And we'll see you on our next video. Bye.